Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show the use of our widgets from Unlimited Elements inside a single post template. And we want to exchange the fields from static fields to dynamic fields driven from the post. And if we have time, we will show also a couple of advanced custom fields inside of the widget. So the first thing we need we need to do is download unlimited elements and choose the widget that we want to use inside of our post template. In this case, I've already downloaded the Stripe event box. To download any widget, you just need to hover over it and click install. Okay, that's just an example. Now, next thing we're going to do is go into Templates, Theme Builder. For the Theme Builder, you're going to need an Elementor Pro. I'm going to create a new post template. I'm going to call it Custom Post Template. And click the Create button. It will suggest some of the predefined post templates. I don't want any of them, so I'm just going to close this. And I'm going to drag inside the post content. Great, this is looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is drag inside the Stripe event box, which I wanted to use for the title of the post and dates and this is location and time so as you can see these fields are static right now and we're going to need to change them to dynamic fields so for example if I have title over here I click on the dynamic icon and I want to use post title as you can see, once it's exchanged, it's taking the title from the post. Now, for these other fields, I don't have any custom fields set up yet, since a post doesn't have these four custom fields. So what I'm going to need to do is add them using a plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. Let's just save this and exit to the dashboard. I'm going into the custom fields menu item, add new, I'm going to give it custom event fields, and let's add the fields. The first field will be date number, the uh, next one will be date month. event location and event what do we have there event time great we have all our custom fields set up I'm gonna publish that and I'm going into the post it's super important to go into po in the post and add these fields since they don't have any data inside of them right now so the date number, I'm going to change to 15, the month to April, the event location to New York, and the event time to 12 p.m. Good, I've added all the data, and I'm going to click Update to save. And let's, refre let's refresh over here. This is our post template, and now we want to replace these fields to advanced custom fields, dynamic advanced custom fields. So in the place, I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna scroll down to advanced custom fields. I'm gonna click again on the field, and in key, we can choose the event location. Great, as you can see, now it's driven from the post. Let's do that for the rest of them. So for time, again, scroll down, click again, and choose the key. Looking good.
update number. Looks good. And date month, we want to replace that with a dynamic advanced custom field. Perfect. We've got our post template set up and now anything that's going to come from those fields is going to populate dynamically according to the post. That's cool. That's the power of Elementor with unlimited elements and dynamic fields. So if you have any questions, please comment them. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and see you next time.